Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, I'll be installing a Nest thermostat version 3 onto a Y-Plan system. Now, the programmer or the timer that I've got, existing timer that I've got, is an EP2002. Now, what is a Y-Plan system? This is what a Y-Plan system would look like. Um, you have um, a very, should have a very similar setup. So once the timer kicks in, so when the time reaches or you turn it on yourself, depending on what you've called. So for example, if you call hot water, the pump will pull the water from the boiler up and this valve will direct it towards the hot water cylinder. And then the cold water from this hot water cylinder will go back down again um, and back into the boiler and keep recircling this water until the temperature has been reached. Similarly, um, if you call for central heating, uh, the water will inside the central heating inside the radiators will get pulled in by the pump and the pump will then divert it towards the central the radiators and then the cold uh, water coming from the radiators will then go back into the boiler, be heated back up again, and go back round again. Now, obviously there is a lot more detail involved in this system, um, but I won't be going into too much detail for this video. So this is what a um, the wiring diagram of a Y-Plan system should look like. Um, all the um, all the equipment that you see on here is my um, uh, what is being what has already been installed on my system. I have got this pump, I've got this boiler, this programmer, this thermostat, um, and this room thermostat. Now, when the time comes uh, or the timer kicks in, or you press it um, to turn it on. Um, the timer will tell the system to turn on the heating or the hot water. Now, in for, for the heating, it will only turn on if um, this thermostat tells the timer that I am below a certain temperature. So this circuit will then get made. Um, similarly, with this um, hot water, will only turn on if this thermostat tells the timer that I am below temperature. Um, now, what the Nest will do uh, it will replace the functionality of the programmer and the room thermostat. So those are the only two things that we need to worry about. Now, one quite important thing is this junction box here. This junction box should be somewhere in your house and you'll see later on why it's important. Um, uh, it may be next in my system. It's next to the uh, near the water tank, but in your system, it might be closer to the boiler or wherever it may be. Um, you may or may not need access to this area, um, and I'll uh, explain to you a bit later in the video. So, how do we remove the old programmer? So, this is what my old programmer looks like. Um, so I, what you need to do is there should be a tab somewhere. Uh, mine's on the bottom. Yours might be on the left on the right hand side. And you need to push that tab in as much as you can and then lift it from the area that you're pushing it. And you'll see something like that. Now, that is the wall plate where all the wires are going to be. Um, and let's go and see what those wires look like. So this is what my wall plate looks like with all its terminals and everything. Um, it looks a bit daunting, but hopefully I will be able to explain to you exactly what is going on. Um, there was a um, the plate that we took off the the timer that we took off. The um, there it says there that there is a diagram on it which we need to have a look at. So here is the um, diagram. Um, most important thing um, that we need to take from here is this diagram over here, which will tell us how our old program is working. 
and these terminals up here is what goes into the wall plate um, this is how our old system works so let's bring back the uh, wiring diagram that we got from the timer and have a look at the image of the wall plate now the first thing that you will notice straight away is that this wiring diagram has neutral live one two three four five um, yet it doesn't have any ABCD yet the wall plate does so what does this ABCD mean this ABCD is just are just spare terminals that the electrician can use as a junction box the junction box being what I just showed you a bit earlier now for the purposes of the nest we can completely ignore ABCD because all it is is connections that are being made to fulfill other functions um, that doesn't mean we can just remove them um, we do need to make sure that they remain connected and we will connect keep them connected by putting a junction clip between them or a junction um, caddy between them um, but they won't be going into the nest um, so uh, you can notice over here you've got the um, the earth wire over here which is being connected to the um, the plate as well um, that will also need to go on to the nest um, similarly um, so the next thing that you may notice is that um, uh, terminals 1 and terminals 2 are not connected so what are terminals 1 and terminals 2 um, terminal 1 uh, lets the timer know that the hot water is not required or it's satisfied so that's why this electrician whoever installed it didn't feel the need to wire up terminal 1 similarly terminal 2 is um, the central heating is not required or central heat is satisfied so hence why terminal 2 is not wired up so what does terminal 3 tell me terminal 3 is for turning the hot water on so when live and 3 are connected the hot water turns on similarly when the five and four are connected there right um, the central heating turns on um, and that's basically it there's one more thing you will notice that the live is also connected to five see that there right um, that is um, one thing to bear in mind is with all these circuits there needs to be a live coming through somewhere in order to complete the circuit and this is where the live for the central heating comes from now in this programmer there are internal um, connections being made between uh, live and three so we don't need to worry about how the hot water turns on so how does this translate into the nest wiring so let's bring up our old programmers diagram as well as the nest diagram now we now understand um, how our old program is working um, so what we'll do is um, see how we'll link this up to the nest now we remember from before that terminals 1 and terminals 2 were not being used okay now how does my um, how do I wire this up to the nest so terminal 3 in my old program was to turn the hot water on okay so the hot water on so how do I turn the hot water on on the nest programmer there is my hot water right and if I want to turn my hot water on I need to call for heat and that is terminal 6 so there we go so that's our hot water done how do I turn my central heating on I turn my central heating on on the nest by calling for heat under heating and that is terminal 3 so terminal 3 connects to um, terminal 3 from my old programmer connects to terminal 6 on the nest and terminal 4 connects to uh, terminal 3 on the nest so that is essentially it now obviously you cannot see earth here but the earth wire that I showed you previously would need to connect to the earth uh, on the nest over here um, and obviously you've got the 
neutral. Obviously, you've got the neutral, uh, which is there, and the live, which needs to connect to neutral and live. Now, that's all well and good, but there is no connection or uh, full circuit being made. Now, the Nest has something called um, common. So just before I describe um, that bit, um, this is what the um, current system uh, would translate to. So terminal 3 goes to terminal 6, terminal 4 goes to terminal 3, live to live, neutral to neutral. Now, in order to make the circuits turn on, we need to consider what's happening with live. Um, what's live? So live also needs to power the heating as well as the hot water. So this, um, this common needs to also be wired up. So how do we do that? Um, in order to do this, uh, we need to connect our live to two and then our live also needs to be connected to five or two can be connected to five, vice versa, it doesn't make a difference. Um, why do we need to do that? We saw previously in our old program how live and five were connecting and there was an internal connection being made between live and terminal one for the hot water. Similarly, um, the Nest does not have any internal connections. Why? Because there's other programmers, how they work, we don't know. And that's why Nest decided that they didn't need to uh, explicitly make those connections inside. So just to remind that live needs to be connected to two common as well as five common if you are going to be installing both the hot water and the central heating. So let's go ahead now and uh, do um, set up the wiring. So I've taken all the terminal connections and put these little junction clips on them. I, to make it easier, I've connected all the 1, 2, 3, 4 and as well as the ABCD into one and I'll get one wire coming out of all of them uh, straight into the nest like so. Now obviously I'm just showing you but I need to make uh, fix them all in place and uh, make sure they're a bit cleaner than what it looks like right now. I would highly recommend that you tape up uh, the wires in case something goes wrong so that you can um, revert back to your original condition should you ever need to. Um, I got myself a 3 amp rated uh, wire which I will be connecting to the nest from my terminals on the wall. And what you should also do is remove this um, cable grip that is on the back of the nest before you start wiring up your nest terminals. Now the nest terminals, um, once it will make it easier. Once you've wired them all up, um, you can put this cable grip on top so that it doesn't tug or you don't tug on the wires, uh, but rather the full cable itself in the event that you do need to, um, so the wires don't come out. Um, and This is what it looks like. Um, so I've wired it up and I've tied my cable grips down and it is connected to all the terminals that were in the back. So it looks a lot simpler than what it did before. And uh, as you can see, my live is connected to two and my two is connected to five. Um, the earth wire also is connected and uh, everything else is done. Now I've used two wires in order to accomplish this. Now if you if you don't want to use these wires, it's up to you. You can connect them directly, should you please, but I did this because it looks a bit cleaner. This is what it looks like on the wall. Now, I will clean that up and uh, mount it onto the wall, but before I mount it onto the wall, I will turn it on just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Um, before we um, turn it on though, there's just one more thing that we need to do. We need to decommission the old thermostat. So how do we do this? Um, this is the old thermostat. Um, this is the thermostat. So this is what it was. I've uh, basically done the same thing, pushed it, opened it up. Um, now, 
remember that the Nest thermostat is now controlling when to turn on and off. Now, if this uh, remains in place, this will also control whether it turns on and off. Now, there's two or three things that you can do. You can either set it to be really, really high, which means that it's always on, which does the same job, or you can <clears throat> connect um, this red and yellow wires together, which is basically three, um, making this circuit complete. And what that means is that it, had, it will never ever reach the temperature, which means it's always on. And we need that to happen because we want the nest to control this system. Now, I'm choosing to do it like this because I'm going to revert back to my old system at some point in the future. Now, if you do not intend on doing that, then it is highly recommended that you actually replace this at the junction box. So you decommission this entirely so you can take this off of the wall. You go to your junction box where it is and you make those connections directly onto the junction box so that you can take this off and fill the holes up and uh, remove this entirely. Um, now, if you have the equipment to do this, i.e. you have uh, testing equipment where you can trace the wires and where it's going, all well and good. Um, but if you don't, this is the next easiest option. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and turn it on and set up your Nest using your phone. Um, if you have any questions, please do let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.